Well, hi guys, this is Rakesh here and um, I'm from IT University. I hope you are following this channel, uh, which is a free open um, university for uh, students, for um, IT professionals and deal with a stack of technologies. Uh, we have added uh, lots of videos on Hadoop and uh, on Big Data Domain. I'm working on Apache Spark. I hope you have seen most of the videos. In this video, I'll talk about how one can uh, one can run or one can install Apache Kafka on Windows 8. For that, guys, there is a prerequisite. I request you to install Sigwin on your uh, uh, desktop, which is a simple uh, and uh, if you do not know how to install video, how to install Sigwin, I'll request you to go to one of the playlist in which we have explained how to install Sigwin. So I hope uh, Sigwin will be installed on your PC, as on mine it is. So that's it. Uh, that is a prerequisite. Part that I'll request you to have uh, a Java and a Scala installed on your machine along with SPT. How to do Scala installed and SPT installed on your machine that I have already explained in my previous videos. Uh, let me show you the link or let me show you the where is it. If you go through the first two videos, everything will be clear. How to install uh, and how to install SPT and um, how to install Scala. And of course, Java version 1.8. That's it guys. Uh, um, now, what you need to do is, you need to go to a page called Kafka Apache or Downloads.html, which is very simple. And once you are there, what you can do is, you can click here. Uh, why I am clicking here is because I want a Scala version 2.11. Okay, once I will click here. Okay, it has given me a uh, few mirror sites. What I'll do is I'll click the first one. Okay, it will take two minutes or it will take few seconds. I'll pause the video. So yeah, that's it guys. I think I have a Kafka and downloaded on my machine. You need to extract this file and just copy the same in C folder. That's it. So now you have Kafka in your C drive. Open this. So there's a tar, again you need to extract it. Okay, I think one can delete the tar. And what I'll do is, it is, Yeah, so I'll rename it again. Oh, yeah, so once you'll go inside this, uh, there will be a bin folder. Inside bin folder, you'll be able to see uh, Kafka run dot sh. What I'll do is, okay, uh, this is for the, uh, these files are for uh, uh, Linux based. And the inner one must be bad files must be for um, uh, for Windows based operating systems. So what I'll do is I'll copy this. I have my sigwin here. What I'll do is pwd cd I'll paste it out. Okay. Okay. C colon yeah CD Kafka CD Kafka bin. So we have the um, files here. So what I need to do is I need to change this file Kafka run. Yeah, so now in this file, what you need to do is here and um,
minus wp and here as well let's copy paste it and yeah Apart that, guys, you need to make certain changes into uh, I think server dot property files. So what I'll do? Okay, let's search for dir. Okay, so here you need to replace this with Kafka logs where you want to print it. I request you to take uh, this path. Yeah, here the path is. So what we'll do is we'll replace this. I think that's it. All what we need to do is uh, go here, config, and let me search something in ConZooKeeper properties file if I need to make change. Yes, I think I need to make a change here as well. So again, I'll go here. Okay. Okay, I'll name it like this. Okay, and in zookeeper dot properties, I think the best way would be. Okay. So it will be the data directory, and. Okay, and there's a property file called as. So guys, what we have done is we have just uh, executed three commands: SBT SBT dependency, uh, SBT package, and SBT update inside this Kafka uh, folder. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I went into an issue that uh, instead of. Uh, uh, this particular character I uh, used a single quote which was not right so use right characters and uh, once you have everything um, uh, like these are the changes which you need to make and once these changes are made open a Sigwin can uh, Sigwin a uh, new terminal and Go to C drive and then Kafka bin and Zookeeper server start and uh, need to see config Zookeeper dot properties and you can see uh, that uh, it it started running the Zookeeper. Once the zookeeper is running on port 2181, what you can do is open a new terminal from here. And now you need to create producer, a topic, and a consumer to test um, the whole flow. Again, go to C drive and then Kafka. Okay. Now to start this, what you can do is you need to see what the uh, what is the bin um, SH file which you need to play. So for that, what you need to do is you need to start a Kafka server. Now to start a Kafka server, which is here, you can do Kafka server start config server dot properties and it will start the server. Okay.
here so if you can see it has started the kafka server now i have server running now once this is done what you can do is you can create a, a topic and before that what you can do is i have copied a few uh, commands from online itself we have created the server what you can do is you can create a topic by which name is test again open a new tab guys i am opening the new tabs so that it'll be things will be clear to you that how uh, it is working kafka bin Now what I have done is I have used ZooKeeper 2181 which is running the application factor is one I am not using any other partition than uh, any other and the topic name is test or I can say uh, okay. or I can give a better name like ITVersity. okay so it has given me an error called uh, i think it has created a topic but it has thrown an error as well so to check whether uh, a topic has been created so there's another command uh, in which uh, we just see the list which is like this okay uh, yes so it has created a topic called as itversity and the reason why it has failed is that uh, inside ins inside um, uh, cannot read uh, could not read configurations file uh, tools uh, log4g.properties so that file is not there but there's another file called as log4g.properties I'll check why this is coming but you can ignore it at the moment now what you need to do is you need you can send some messages but to send some messages you need a producer so for producer what you need to do is so this is a Kafka console producer which we'll be using and I'll be throwing the messages on a topic which is IT per city I'll say hello IT per city how are you so now the messages have been sent to that particular topic called as IT versity now to consume those messages I need a new uh, I need to create a consumer as well so in this case the consumer will be a console consumer consumer check the name consumer dot sh and the zookeeper name will be the same and I'll say that it from the building just ignore the file specified idly it should pick the messages and should display to you like here so it has displayed you the messages so guys thank you very much uh, for watching the video 
I request you to subscribe to our channel which is ITversity and in the next video I'll what I'll do is I'll integrate the Kafka with Spark. Thank you guys.